what's going on guys this is redline here bringing you guys another grand blue relink build video and today we will be doing a build video on vane vane is the vice captain of the order of the white dragons and a childhood friend of last a lot vane is a, a pretty good another really good character i like to use he was actually the second character that i wanted to get like fully leveled up and fully uh get his um mastery points fully mastered out his uh mastery nodes and he's really really fun to play so vane is one of the tanks in the game uh he can take a lot of hits uh he can heal himself um he can do he can do a lot uh you can pretty much you can build him for dps uh you can build him as a full tank but the way the route i took with this build was to make him pretty much a stun master this is what i like to call the number one stunner build so I got him built to inflict a lot of stun, activate a lot of link attacks. So he's going to be very helpful trying to build that link attack percentage up to activate link time. So before we get into the build, let's go over his character details. Okay, so Vayne has two support skills. Uh, the first one being Proof of Valor. Allows Vayne to perform powerful triangle combos by consuming the beatdown gauge. Landing combo finisher, fill the gauge. Okay, so for his first for his first support skill, proof of valor. When he does a combo. See ya, sword and sword. You see there's a meter. There's a gauge. It's called the beatdown gauge that, that appears up. And you fill it by doing um Well, okay, so they say you feel it by doing uh, finishers, but as you can see, one, two, three, he, st he gets a, like a very small chunk after he lands the third hit of a combo. But um, once you feel the beatdown gauge, he also feels it by doing link attack. All right, so we have it filled. So when the beat down, the, the point of the beat down gauge is to give Vayne a special unique combo that's pretty much dealing with all, all your heavy attacks. So in order to start it, you just hit, you just press a uh, triangle. You just spam it. There you go. So as you can see, um, uh, when you start the combo, it, it end up pretty much draining the whole beatdown gauge. So you'll just have to build it up again. And for the second support skill, the Dragon Within, it allows Vayne to block a foe's attack with the perfectly timed triangle attack without being interrupted. So pretty much it's giving you like stout heart on finisher attacks. So you can't be interrupted when you're doing a finisher attack. Uh, it was hard for me to get the footage from, I mean, it was hard for me to do get the footage in training mode. So I have some footage of me pretty much uh, using my finisher uh, combo against uh, Galanza, and you can you'll see me taking a lot of a hit, a lot of his hits. Now you still take damage, but um, you're not able to be interrupted, and so it pretty much works like Stout Heart just on combo finishers. So I can't get up close and personal with them. All right, so the skills I have for the number one stunner build, uh, the first skill will be energy destruction. Energy destruction is a powerful sweeping attack that deals more damage based on how full Vayne's SBA gauge is. So the more SBA gauge you have, the more damage it's going to do. The next one is Soul Eruption. Fully restores Vayne's HP and removes all debuffs. Also grants attack, 50% attack and 50% defense. Can only be activated when Vayne is at or below 30% HP. So when you get below 30% HP, then you can activate the skill. 
The next one is Rift Divider, a multi-hit assault that pulls foes in front of Vayne toward him. Uh, the pull is not that strong in my opinion, but you know, as long as you know how to, you know when to use it, then you'll be fine. The next one is Rampart. This skill I think is a given. Rampart is Rampart casts a circle around Vayne that grants invincibility. Hold while casting to prolong the duration. So, uh, of course, this is very, very useful when those uh, bosses go into overdrive and they have and they have that big AOE phase that they go through. You activate this and uh, you get your teammates inside, and you're untouchable pretty much for the whole phase. For uh, yeah, pretty much for the whole phase because the uh, the uh, shield like when you hold hold it to prolong it, it actually lasts. A little just a little bit if you time it right it can last a little bit longer than the uh than the overdrive phase that they go into now um okay so energy destruction there's more damage based off of how full veins sba gauge is you don't have to wait until you have a full sba gauge to use this it's just the more damage it does i mean the more sba, SBA gauge you have the more damage it does if you don't like this, that's perfectly fine. A great alternative would be arm destruction, a frontal shockwave attack that deals high amount of stun. So you can act, you can uh, replace it with arm destruction, and you're pretty much be feeding into that uh, stun mechanic. You know, into into that stun into the stun build. You know what I'm saying? More often, pretty much. I like using energy destruction, me personally, because of the damage and it causes stun. It causes a lot of stun as well. But um, this is like I said, this is just my preference. Uh, soul eruption. You don't have to use a uh, soul eruption if uh, due to the HP restriction. You want to? You don't want to wait to get thirty percent. That's perfectly fine. You can um, you can use Jack Dra installs, which grants guts, attack, and defense to Vayne, uh, both thirty percent. But I already have guts on this build, so you know taking the extra damage from uh from soul eruption, the extra the extra twenty percent attack and defense from soul eruption and the heal pretty much fits me, fits me better. <clears throat> but this is also uh, a way that you know keeps him on you no know, being as a tank because of that extra fifty percent defense. Plus you get fully healed, so you can alternate these out for something else if you want. Uh, but this is just what I went with for this build so with the gear the weapon i'm using for this build is the swan uh all the way upgraded well it's not fully leveled because i didn't have the materials i ran out of materials to get it to 150 but uh it's uh got stun power plus link together which works you know works great and then the imbued traits i have is more stun power regen and auto revive the first sigil I have is stun power and stamina at 15, a uh, level five at 15. Then I have three damage cap sigils. Uh, one of them have guts on it, and then I have linked together with attack. Have combo booster with quick cooldowns, and then I have overdrive assassin with uplift. Overdrive, I mean overdrive assassin to boost the damage when they in overdrive, and then uplift to uh, gain more SVA gauge. So that I can use my energy destruction at full power more often. And then I have Garrison, which gives me 28% defense the lower my health is. And I also have Drain on it. Uh, I took this off and I switched my weapons to show you guys the uh, finisher mechanic that, you know, that heals you. And then I have uh, Aegis. Then I have Quick Cooldowns. Uh, I, got, I put another Quick Cooldown on here because... Uh, Rampart actually takes a while to come back after you use it once So this just helps me be able to use it often and then I have heroes Creed uh, The personal sigil the character sigil and then I have heroes will the other character sigil with uh, crit rate Heroes Creed uh, Grants damage cut to Vayne after landing a combo finisher. So you pretty much get 20% damage reduction for 15 seconds when you land a combo finisher and then uh hero's will shortens vein skill cooldowns after landing a combo finisher so you also get a uh, skill cooldown so basically you get damage 20 percent damage reduction you get healed and you get skill cooldowns once you land a finisher now what makes this 
What makes this number one stun is that I have stun power maxed out. So it <clears throat> stun power maxed out gives me a hundred stun. And that's with uh this sigil at 15 plus uh the swan being um fully uncapped, which gives me 25. And then um and then this the imbued trait also helps. So yeah. That's what I have for my gear man in this build, and we're gonna get into some gameplay to show it off. So uh enjoy.
do anything much. Hell yeah! <laughs> All right, so that's it. That is my number one stunner build in action. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. You enjoyed the build. Like I said, you can build them as a tank DPS, or like I said, I decided to take a different route with Vayne and go with this, go with, uh, you know, making him the number one stunner. And uh, yeah, man, if you like the content, uh, you want to see more build videos, like, comment subscribe and you can also follow me on twitch twitch.tv slash red underscore line one and with that being said man red line out